T-Rex 3 standard quick overview so first off in this video there won't be any sound samples this is just a quick overview of what's included in T-Rex 3 standard so let's get started so what you're seeing now is the T-Rex 3 shell and in this shell we can set up our effects chain our EQs compressors etc in any of these 12 spaces so included with T-Rex 3 standard we have a classic compressor a classic multiband limiter a classic clipper and a classic equalizer You'll see we have buttons up here, 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, and then we also have 1B, 2B, etc. And you'll see if I click on this 1B, then I can set a different effect in that slot, and then show the signal chain, and you'll see how those are just set up, just like that. So in this area, we can choose presets here, and we have global or module. So here's a global preset. I'll choose a global preset and show the signal chain there. Choose another global preset. See how that has changed. All right, we have module presets here. So we're showing an EQ now, so I'll just choose an EQ preset. You can, of course, save your own presets as well. So not only are these effects, the compressor, multiband limiter, classic clipper, and the equalizer included, but also included is a full metering section. We have peak, perceived loudness, RMS, we have phase, correlation, and a spectrum analyzer. And all of these meters have several settings that you can choose down here in the settings tab so your meters are responding just how you want. Now T-Rex 3 is really made for mastering but can be used in mixing as well and all of these modules just sound great. So let's have a quick overview of some of these modules. We're on the EQ here so let's take a quick look at the EQ. You'll see there are numbers by each knob here 1 through 6 and those numbers will appear on this display up here so if I grab this number 2 here we can adjust our frequency ranges and our gain just by dragging this around. Of course we can also use the knob. You can turn on and off each band by clicking the button below it. it turns yellow, it's on, it's gray, it's turned off. See so we have six bands here. We have a low cut and a high cut, so that's low pass and high pass. So on our high cut and our low cut, those are both fourth order filters. So fourth order, that's 24 dB per octave. On our low and our high bands, those are both shelving type filters and our two middle bands here low mid and high mid those are peaking type filters where we have variable center frequency controls from the knobs below here or by of course dragging the number around we can set our center frequency and we can also adjust the Q with the knob directly next to the center frequency knob we have a nice tight Q notch something out or a wide Q to affect more frequency ranges that's the same for our high mid filter as well of course we have our output knob we can choose just the left just the right or the left and right you see down here we have our left and right button pushed in we can also choose mid side move on we have our classic compressor with pretty basic adjustments nice large knobs we have the side chain high pass filter attack time release time great knob here stereo enhancement that's great ratio input drive output very basic also reset these by clicking the reset button we have our multi-band limiter here which is three separate bands, release time, overload, and we also have crossover adjustments here as well. We have the classic clipper. Again, we can choose left, right, or left and right. Our gain, we choose our slope and output, and then we're back to the equalizer. Down towards the bottom of the screen, you'll see these A, B, C, and D buttons. We can choose those and set up four distinct signal paths. So if I choose B here, I can start adding in different signal path for this then I can A and B between both of these setups on the fly and decide which one I like better. Now not only can we use all of these modules within this T-Rex 3 shell we can also use them as plugins on their own. So there we have the clipper, compressor, equalizer, multi-band limiter and you can even use the metering section which is really great. It's a really great metering section. One thing I would personally like to see added in the future would be a freeze button on the spectrum analyzer so you can freeze the display and take a closer look. Now not only can we use T-Rex 3 within a DAW, we can also use T-Rex in standalone. So it's basically the same setup in standalone except now we have the addition of an audio track. And we can actually drag in audio files anywhere in this interface. Release and there's our audio file right there. We can set fades exactly where our endpoint is and start to fade, fade in, fade out. We can choose our fade shapes. We can take snapshots. So snapshots are like automation. 
So if I were to load a preset here, we can take a snapshot here, make our adjustments for our snapshot, and then our playhead, when it reaches the snapshot, it will automate the parameter changes for that section of the song, etc. So that way you can easily EQ a song differently in different parts. Maybe you want to EQ the verse and the chorus a little bit differently, and that can easily be done. You can also copy your snapshots and paste them in exactly where you want and you can have several snapshots three four five you can see that right here every time I click snapshot so that means we can automate all of these modules very nice you can actually load in several audio tracks so you can master your EP or your LP master maybe just one song and you can process these right within T-Rex and then have those mastered files written to your hard drive and ready to load up to the internet or burn on the CD, etc. Another cool thing is that by default our settings are locked to each audio file. So I can have different settings on all of my different tracks here. I can have each song EQ'd, compressed, limited differently and then process them out exactly as I want. All within this standalone application, no need to open up your DAW. One more really cool feature is this compare feature. By turning on this compare feature and using this level knob here, we can match the level of the affected track with the dry unmastered track so that way we're not confusing louder with better. So T-Rex 3 standard is a really cool little mixing and mastering suite. All these modules sound really good. So I think that covers the basic overview of T-Rex 3 standard. If you're interested in T-Rex 3 standard or deluxe or maybe some singles check out ikmultimedia.com. The T-Rex processors sound fantastic to me so definitely check them out.